Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Speed Build Sunday. So today we are building a beautiful Southern Victorian home for, wait for it, Strangerville. I know, shocking. Lil Simsy playing Strangerville right now? Who, who knew? It's not like every single video for the last week has been Strangerville related. That's a, well no, I, no, no, one of them wasn't. I posted one not Strangerville video. It was baby challenge video. So there's that. I'm not a Strangerville channel anymore. It's fine. But the pack is out now. Everyone's got a chance to play it and stuff like that. And it's been fun. I know that there are a lot of um, opinions about Strangerville. We've all been talking a lot about it because it is definitely a controversial pack <laughs> as far as some other things go. But all that aside, the world is really beautiful and building in it is really fun. And I used the new build objects and stuff so that I can make this house because I used like all the new doors and windows and the spandrels and the columns and stuff. And it looks really cool. There are some really fun colors on those things. And like I couldn't have pulled this house off before we had this because we didn't have any kind of like brightly colored yellows or, or anything on any kind of windows or you know what I'm talking about, but basically, I love this house. It's sunshiny and beautiful and bright and fun and the inside is great. You guys know I like to play in small houses in The Sims. I'm not really a big fan of like big houses in Sims gameplay because for one, they're hard to furnish. It is so hard to make a big house look good in The Sims because there's just so much going on and it's so empty looking, but when it's smaller, you can make it look so much cozier and like more cluttered and stuff. And so, and also when it's a smaller house, because when you're playing in like a big, enormous, giant, four-story mansion like where are your sims <laughs> they could be anywhere you're just like looking for sims all the time in a small house you know where your sims are it's just better there's no like paging up and down between three floors you know i mean this is a two-story house but like it's a good size and the downstairs is really cute i loved the kitchen in this house so much i like genuinely had so much fun building this and i haven't had a really good time building like a a kind of standard house for me in a long time like i've been doing a lot of different builds and granted this is like a yellow house so it's pretty different but like this is also kind of like the standard sort of style or furnishing style i would go for like the inside looks like a little simsy build but i mean it was fun to do and i haven't had fun doing a standard interior in a long time <laughs> I've had a lot of fun building in Strangerville because I've been doing a lot of like Wild West style community center buildings. You'll see more of them this week coming soon. I built like a new gym for Strangerville. I built a new town hall for the library because I'm trying to fix it for my Simsy save. So I'm doing a lot of different styled things that I would normally never do. Like this Western sort of style is very out of my comfort zone and has been very fun to try. Also, can we just talk about the fact that this pack Strangerville and the new military career relies so heavily on like the fitness skill and working out, but there isn't a gym in this world. Doesn't make much sense now, does it? But I replaced one of the stupid starter homes with a gym. So we have a new gym here. So I also built a park for this world. So I built a couple new community lots because I figure like, realistically, <laughs> who wants to live in Strangerville? You know, like this place, uh, ugh, it's a bit odd. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't really want to have my Sims live here, I don't think. But I think it would be fun to visit Strangerville as far as like going to the gym, going to the bar, like that sort of thing goes. And so I put some community lots down so you guys have actually have a reason to use Strangerville because realistically, once you finish the storyline, I doubt you'll come back to Strangerville. And so now there are some community lots here so you have a reason to come visit the town. <laughs> You're welcome everybody, I'm doing the Laura's work. But I had fun doing it. Like I said, I got those videos all pre-recorded and stuff, so you'll see them this week. I'm trying my absolute best here to get videos out this week, but I'm also pre-recording uh, for spring break and I have midterms this week. So like, I might miss a couple uploads in the coming weeks. I'm gonna try and maybe like, I, okay, so here's my plan, right? I know I complain a lot about this stuff, but like realistically, I just, I can't do it all. You can't do it all. I need to stop trying to do it all because this 16 hour workday thing is not human. So I'm gonna make videos for every day except Tuesdays for the next two weeks. <laughs> and then if I have time before I leave, I'll make the Tuesday videos, but I feel like it's probably in my best interest to be like, nah, let's take a step back. <laughs> Sometimes you need to take a step back. So I'm, I'm again, really sorry about that. You guys know I don't miss uploads and I shouldn't even be apologizing because you know what? Um, 16 hour work days shouldn't be a thing that I'm doing. Why do I feel obligated to do that? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so I've just been um, stressed about that, but I have had fun building. I also 
So, okay, if you guys missed it, last week, or no, it was this week, oh, it's all a blur. On Tuesday of this week, I was in a Stardew Valley tournament on Twitch. They had this, like, official esports Stardew Valley tournament for the three-year anniversary of Stardew Valley's release on Twitch. I said Twitch so many times just then. And I got invited to it, and it was, like, a real tournament with, like, a prize pool and stuff. There was a $35,000 prize pool that was split across a few different, like, prizes and goals you could try and achieve. My team lost, so I didn't get any money, but <laughs> we had to stream for like six hours for the actual tournament and I was live for like a little bit before and after that and stuff. And it was just overall one of the most stressful experiences of my life. Like, you know that I love Stardew Valley with my whole heart. I've got hundreds of hours in that game. I'm obsessed. It's so relaxing and fun and calming. And I have never played Stardew Valley in that sense where it's like the opposite of relaxing. And also, I said it before on my channel, so you might have like heard the story already, so I'm sorry about that. But like, my game, only on multiplayer it does this. It's like my Steam's connection to my internet. Because trust me, I've tried everything to fix it. But every like 60 to 90 seconds, my connection would fail and it would kick me out of the server. So I was playing with my three teammates and they were hosting and every like 60 seconds it would kick me out. And so I had to keep reconnecting and rejoining. And then like the last, like we're talking like actually the last like five, 10 minutes of the tournament. So like crunch time, last 10 minutes, my game just kicked me out completely, wouldn't let me back in. And so it was the most stressful thing in the, so, Keep in mind, for like six hours while I was in the tournament, I kept doing that. I also had been playing Stardew Valley for like two hours in the morning to try and fix it. And so I played Stardew Valley for like nine hours that day because like before and after the tournament and during the tournament and my game was kicking me like every minute and a half. And it was so infuriating and I was so stressed and I wanted to cry and it just was a whole thing. Um, my team ended up winning the fan vote, like the, the official vote they did about the best farm, I think as a pity vote because we had the hardest time um, just trying to exist like that. So that was fun and definitely something. We got $25 each because there's one of the rules, if you guys know anything about Stardew Valley, you might know what I'm talking about, but there are these things called legendary fish that you can catch and they had like for the, the tournament, there was five they had listed and if you caught one of them, you would get $1,000 and one of the five they had listed, no one caught. So they split the $1,000 between the 10 teams. So everyone got like $100, each team got $100. So my team got $25. Um, so I came out real big <laughs> from that tournament. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I mean, I didn't expect to win for sure that tournament. I knew people would be way better than us in that tournament. Like we ended up with, I think like a couple hundred thousand golds at the end. The people that won had like a couple million. So, <laughs> but they were really good. Like they were really talented. And like they had, there was a guy that caught all four legendary fish. He caught four of them. Like there was five they had as part of the tournament. He caught four of them. Like he was very talented. Um, I cannot relate. <laughs> I'm good at Stardew Valley, but I'm not that good at Stardew Valley. And also my game kept crashing, so I couldn't even leave the farm. So, but anyway, I <laughs> after that day, I, I was literally having nightmares about Stardew Valley, like on Tuesday night. And then all of a sudden yesterday on Saturday, I just got this urge to farm. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like, I was on Reddit, of course, and someone, because I'm subscribed to this, this subreddit that people post pictures of their farms, and someone had this really cool one, and I was like, wow, that's how I'm trying to be. And then I was like, wow, I want to start a new farm. And then I was like, wow, I want to mess with a farm planner and make a really cool farm, and then try and make it in the game. And then it became this whole like spiral, and now I'm, I started a new save and I streamed it yesterday and then played for like three hours last night when I did not have time to play for like three hours last night. <laughs> I should have been recording voiceovers for build videos and then I played Stardew Valley, but it's okay. You know what? It's all right to have breaks sometimes, Kayla. Someone needs to teach me that because I have not learned. Can I just say really fast though, to all of you guys out there that might be uh, debating getting the game Stardew Valley or have not heard of it, please look up something online of it. You can watch one of my VODs on YouTube or Twitch, like my, my past streams. You can watch somebody else's, I, it doesn't matter, but just look at it for a second and give her a chance because I genuinely, I feel so strongly about this. The game is $15 on Steam, it's also on Switch and on mobile now. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on iPhones, but it's $15 on Steam. And that will be the 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 $15. That will be the best $15 you will ever spend. You're gonna get hundreds of hours of pure joy out of this game and it's cheap. Like The Sims is so expensive, okay? Stardew Valley, $15. And it goes on sale pretty often. I bought it for $10. I paid $10 for Stardew Valley and I've got hundreds of hours in it. Granted, I also bought a Switch 
just to play Stardew Valley. And then when my game was breaking on Tuesday, I thought it was my Steam account because I couldn't play Dead by Daylight either. Because I've realized now that it's like my Steam connecting to my internet when I'm trying to play online games on Steam because I kept getting kicked from Dead by Daylight too. So I thought it was just my Steam account and so I made a new account because I was like, okay, realistically, if this is going to keep happening, it's worth the $15 to just buy the game again and, and try and fix it. And so I made a new Steam account and then bought Stardew Valley again and then it didn't fix it. <laughs> my my new Steam account was called Lil Simsy Hates Steam, which is true. I do hate Steam, but I've, I think it's my internet's fault. People have said to try and use a VPN and stuff, which like I'll try and fix it. I don't know. It's just, I don't get it. I like restarted my router. I bought the game again on a different account. I, I literally, I updated everything. Don't worry. Like I tried everything that I could trust me and it just doesn't work. I don't understand. And it's been happening for like a few weeks now, just out of nowhere. Any online steam games, I just get kicked constantly. I couldn't even play dead by daylight. And you know, I, I love dead by daylight so much that <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't actually particularly care for Dead by Daylight. I've only played Dead by Daylight the one time when I kept getting kicked, but I have seen my friends stream it a bunch. Like my friend Rochelle, Kiwi Simming, she plays Dead by Daylight and she streamed it a few times with some of my other friends. And so like, I've seen it played. I just, I don't like spooky things. <laughs> I'm more of a fan of like Stardew Valley, uh, like little cutesy farm games. And like, yeah, there's a lot of intensive parts in Stardew Valley when you're like, you know, trying to kill the slimes in the mines, but there's no like murder that's happening with like spooky graphics. It's like this little like 2D cutesy farm graphic, so it's not as spooky. <laughs> I'm not scared of Stardew Valley or The Sims. I'm scared of Dead by Daylight. I'm a weak person. I get scared way too easily. I don't like to watch any, like I don't like to consume scary content. And it's, I have a weird threshold for that too. Cause like I listen to a ton of murder podcasts, like shout out my favorite murder one time. Good podcast, you'll enjoy, look that, look that up. It's on Spotify. You'll enjoy my favorite, my favorite murder. But like, I listen to murder podcasts. I read a lot of stuff like that. Like, but then games like Dead by Daylight scare me. And like, I watched Aquaman with my mom, the movie, and that movie scared me. <laughs> but like, I'll listen to all these real life murder stories, like actual ones that have happened in real life. But then I get scared of Dead by Daylight. Like, and it's just a game. I don't know what the deal with that is. But anyway, Dead by Daylight scares me. And that's the tea. <laughs> It is kind of a scary game, but if you don't know the premise of it, it's like this kind of fun, like, trying to escape from this murderer game with your pals. Um, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Anyway, it's a fun game, but, like, I just, again, get scared too easily, so. But then I can read about IRL serial killers, so, like, I mean, serial killers being, like, people that kill cereal, like, like, Rice Krispies type cereal, so... Oh my god, I learned, I have, oh, I've got a bone to pick. So, <laughs> I really enjoy Rice Krispies, like Cocoa Krispies, good cereal. I don't drink cereal with milk, I just eat cereal plain, so I'll get like a bowl of Cocoa Krispies and a spoon and I just eat them. Like, no milk, none of, none of that, please, no thank you. Not even almond milk, I don't drink milk, <laughs> but like, I don't even want almond milk in my cereal. Like, not dairy milk for sure, but like, even anything else I wouldn't put in my cereal, I just eat it dry. But then, I found out that people in the the UK, you guys call them like Cocoa Pops or something, and I was really upset by it. Because they're Cocoa Krispies, not Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Puffs are different. Cocoa Puffs are really good too, but not as good as Cocoa Krispies. And they're not called Cocoa Pops. That's stupid. So anyway, I'm fine. I just was, I was really shocked and upset by that, and I, I found it to be a really concerning issue. So anyone here from the UK, uh, you and your Cocoa Pops can leave. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Imagine, imagine, I just alienated my entire British audience because I was like, hmm, Cocoa Pops? No. Like, listen, my boyfriend is from England. I'm not, like, surprised by all these people's stupid different words for things, but sometimes you find out about the word for, like, a thing that seems so unimportant and common, and it's like, you call it a Cocoa Pop? This is impossible. I can't stand for this. <laughs> like, dumb, I don't know, dumb things. They also call soda fizzy drinks, which really bothered me. I just think that sounds stupid. Like, fizzy drink, like, yeah, it's a fizzy drink, but, like, doesn't it sound dumb? Anyway, sorry, my American is showing. <laughs> I'll stop. The more I talk about this, the more I want cereal. Like, I, I could really go for some Cocoa Krispies right now, and now I'm upset that I don't have any. <laughs> so, my life is so 
hard. Anyway, sorry for all of the like ranting about unrelated to the build things. You might have seen downstairs in the first floor, I did a really cool thing with the coffee table where I made this like circle shape out of existing coffee tables. I always do that with the glass ones because I always just assumed it clipped with the other ones. Um, with that kind of like rounded fancy edge coffee table I used, it didn't clip and it looked really cute. So stay tuned for the screenshots to like see that again. If you missed it, I'll show it off when we get there to the end. But I also just had kind of weird shaped rooms in this house, which is sort of unusual for me. I usually have pretty square like rooms um, rectangles and stuff, like, mostly just pretty standard, like, rectangle shapes. There's a lot of, like, weird rounded edges and things in these rooms, which I kind of enjoyed. It was fun to try and furnish them and make layouts for the rooms like that. I also had to put, like, one of those fancy benches in the kids' room, because everybody always wants me to use those benches, but I feel like it never really fits in the rooms that I'm building, but I finally did that one. I also didn't even stream this build. I built it just for fun, not even on Twitch, but I do stream almost all of my builds, so check out my channel twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy for, um, bad Stardew tournaments and Sims builds. <laughs> but make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things, and in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. This voiceover was so difficult for me to do. I've been having the hardest time. I recorded it like three times. What is wrong with me?